Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day as always. So I have an action packed episode for you guys today, but there are a couple things that I want to go over, including my librarians. Check this out, guys. We have finally got advanced mending. Uh, this one has looting three. This guy has rune piercing capabilities too. This guy has upgraded potentials and some of these we've already went over, but I'll just go ahead and go over all of them again. Luck of the C3, that's like for fishing. Aqua and Affinity. Life Steal 1. This guy has Inner Berserk 3. That is just my cartographer. And this guy has Projectile Protection. Arc Slash 3. Wall Running. And finally we have Vampirism 1. I'm going to dig this out even more, but I kind of ran out of room because if I break the blocks that are back there on that wall, I will actually go outside. So <laughs> it goes pretty far. And I've also made a little bit of improvements to the uh, villager breeder. I just added some blocks over here just to try to keep them safer. Now there should be a greater chance that the one that's completely in the center Hopefully he will never die anymore. So that is a thing. Anyways, in today's episode, guys, we are just going to be running around, killing things, doing some more dragons and things like that. Um, I was in the middle of actually making some glass because I just took down a dragon. Also, another thing that I want to mention is I did make the uh, Ring of Enchanted Eyes. So if you look that up, Ring of Enchanted Eyes, it requires four silver ingots, one golden carrot, and a glowing ingot. So it's not really that expensive. Um, there was someone that left a comment in the last episode, and I want to uh, kind of give them a shout out. And the comment was from uh crix ninja 77 thank you so much for the comment of letting me know that if you smelt down your silver armor you'll get your silver ingots so thank you so much for that that was really really helpful anyways guys i'm gonna do some smelting here get my glass that i need and then we'll come back i'm on my rock again Flying around, my friends, I'm on my rock again. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I just killed this dragon, and I wanted to get some glass bottles, because when you have bottles, you just click the dragon, and you get the uh, fire dragon blood. So we got seven of those, so that is wonderful. And I believe this was another tier three dragon, probably. And yes, tier three fire dragon. So that is a thing. Um, also in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the four towers dungeon. That is why I have milk in my inventory. And while I was killing this dragon off camera, there was something weird going on over here. Like I seen a dead dragon just fall to the ground over here or something. So I kind of want to go over here and investigate. Oh, there is actually another dragon over here. So yeah, maybe that is what I saw because I saw something falling down to the ground or maybe it was just this dragon flying around over here or something. It was just really, really weird. Wait, what is that? This looks like a dead baby dragon. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Whoa, this guy's like... Oh my goodness. This guy's getting way too close to me. Well, I have came back to base just so I can drop off a bunch of stuff. I've killed like three or four dragons here, and uh, now there's a blood moon going on outside, which is even more crazier. So what I would like to do is go out here and kill some mobs. Get some more levels, obviously. We're going to have to be a little bit careful here, I think. But we do have night vision, so it's not like a big problem. And it's not like a big deal. Oh, God, what was that? 
What was that? Rare thorny zombie, the Pell Rider. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a blighted zombo. See how strong we are. This is gonna make us real men right here. <laughs> Not too terrible so far. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Don't you dare blow up. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of enemies coming at me right now, so. This should be interesting. Should make for some serious fun. Oh! The guy's pretty strong. The Zotar. The Enderman's mad. He's dead. <laughs> oh man, this is chaos. Oh, that's a crazy looking creeper over there. I don't know, guys. I think I'm pretty OP right now, so we should be perfectly fine. Even though this is giving me a lot of XP, and that's what I need because I want to start working on that Tide Guardian armor and getting the enchants on it. Because right now I just have this diamond armor still, and uh, I can definitely get better things than that for sure. Whoa, he come from behind. That's not cool. How dare you come up behind me, man? Like, what are you thinking? Who do you think you are? There is something else that I did forget to go over, and that is the fact that I do have advanced... Uh, oh my gosh, that was an advanced protection four book laying on the ground. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. I need to seriously do more blood moons because that is amazing. Whoa, okay. Got everybody and their brother shooting at me right now. <laughs> There's going to be stuff everywhere after this. This is crazy. Got creepers laying on the ground dead. Zombies dead. Skeletons. Bones and rotten flesh. And just everything you can think of right now. That guy even dropped his bow. My pet Rock's even helping. He's just picking things up and dropping them to the ground. Which is hilarious. Trying to be careful of this creeper here. Bam, you're dead. You're dead. Get wrecked. Enderman, I don't even care about you. Get out of my face. Skeleton, get out of my face. You're dead. You're getting wrecked. Anyways, guys, this is going to waste a lot of time, so I don't want to waste too much time, obviously. Like I said, I want to keep the episode about 20 to 30 minutes long. This episode's probably going to be a longer one because, man, I'm having fun. How is it not fun to just come outside in a blood moon and just start wrecking everybody's faces off? <laughs> I love it so much. All right, guys. So the blood moon is finally over, as you can see from everything laying here on the ground. I got 41 levels, so that was pretty awesome. I'm just running around here collecting as many of these arrows and many uh, as many of these bones and things as I can. I don't really need arrows, though, because... My bow has infinity and advanced mending on it, so it's never going to break on me or anything like that. So that was pretty fun. Now I think I'm ready to head on over to the four towers and let the chaos begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here at the four towers. What I'm going to do right now is go to sleep and we're going to get started here on the first floor. And we are probably going to come across some witches first because I've already killed some of the enemies that were here in the last episode. Hello, sir. I don't know what he was looking at or who he was looking at, but he's going to regret that because he's dead. <laughs> Anyways, this is, yeah, this is going to start spawning a lot of crazy witches and everything. So, lots of withers and all that kind of shenanigans. Shouldn't be too big of a deal because I am really, really strong right now. So, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and break these spawners. I don't see the point of allowing them to 
even live. It looks like most of these chests in here are... They have locks on them, which is kind of unfortunate. I think there's spawners behind the bookshelves, too. I'm not sure if I remember. But I will go ahead and make sure and check that out. And also, I probably should pick up all these books in here. Because that's definitely going to be useful for later on enchants and things like that. Well, if I run into any more enemies, and if it gets interesting, I will come back. Well, before I go, I should probably show you guys what was in the chest. So there's an Infinity Book. There's an Aqua Affinity Book, which is nice. Protection 3 and a Knockback 2, which I'm just going to take the books and the paper at this point. Next chest has been unlocked, and we've got Efficiency 3, Protection 4, Moisturized Frostwalker Economical 4, Sharpness 4, and Protection 4, which is pretty nice. Not too bad. Let's open the next one here together because it's just a simple one, obviously. All right. Then hit escape to unlock it. This one has looting two, aqua affinity, protection three, and power five. What I want to do right now is I'm just going to put all these books in here. And that way, when I'm actually done with a dungeon, I'll just pull out my backpack and then we'll just get everything together and uh, take it all back home. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I just, okay, that's the lock that I just did. I don't know why thought that I didn't do that but uh, anyways now let's go ahead and go to the higher floors here if you guys wanted action you're going to get it today so I decided to just go down to the lower level here first down these stairs there's all kinds of enemies and everything fighting each other so like I said this episode's action-packed that's for sure if you guys want to see a lot of combat this is going to be your episode to watch 100% my goodness, that's a lot of cobwebs. Pitch black and I'm likely to be eaten by something. So let's back off and go back outside and to the light. There we go. I do have torches on me as well, but uh, yeah, there's uh, banshees there and everything. I don't really like those things. They're pretty annoying to deal with because they do that. <laughs> and then they scream like they're going crazy or something. Lots of skeletons. You know, this is kind of sad that these enemies are definitely no match against me. But in a way, it's kind of fun because, whoa, I don't have to sit here and, you know, get my face wrecked off endlessly or anything like that. So, uh, kind of fun. That is a lot of skeletons. <laughs> right, let's get these spawners out of here. Wow, that one spawner just, like, timed out. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be lots of XP and everything like that. I don't need these arrows or that quiver or anything like that. I will take this potion ring because it's a bobble, obviously. Well, actually, no, I don't need that. I don't even need it. The only thing I need is all the experience. <laughs> all right, let's see what else is in here. There's some more skeletons. Now, I will take bandages and stuff like that look at these guys they don't even hurt me really this is really sad okay i did see a bandage there i want things like that and i'll get into that what i want to talk about about the uh healing items here in a little bit well not necessarily the healing items but like the bandages and stuff because there's some things that i want to go over and uh i will probably just go over that in a second what are you shooting at me you're dead. Get wrecked. Hey, he dropped some cookies. I'll definitely take some cookies. That sounds good for breakfast, doesn't it? The reason I say that is because it's only like 7 or 8 a.m. right now for me. Actually, what time is it? It's Yeah, it's only like 8.30 a.m. So it's really, really early. What the heck? Oh, got me stuck in a web. Where are all these zombies coming from? I don't even have any idea. Anyways, let me go ahead and finish clearing these mobs out on this bottom floor, and I will come back. Well, we can finally summon Reapers, as it says there. So that's kind of cool. And I just killed a couple Keppel Banshees, and they kind of made me jump around like a madman. Uh, looks like the only thing here is just spiders, so that's perfectly fine. More XP for me. It is time to take on the next area here. 
So it looks like we've got a bunch of skeletons and withers in this next room here, which is not really that big of a deal. Probably take these guys out relatively with ease. Oh. Oh, let's not get too cocky here. <laughs> there is a banshee that's really annoying. Looks like a special one. Yeah, I really don't like the banshees. It's really annoying. Really annoying. I still want to be careful. I don't want to get myself killed. There you are. Thought you were going to outsmart me, didn't you? Die. <laughs> this is so fun being OP. I do want to watch out for these withers because I don't want to get withered. Man, all chaos is just happening right now. All hell is breaking loose, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is the skeleton doing? He's like trying to dance around that with me or something. That guy's got a wither skull on his head. I got nine or ten skeletons. Well, not nine or ten. Four or five or maybe even three or two or one trying to shoot me in my daggone face. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you. And then the next room even looks more crazier than, than this room. So apparently there is a uh, spawner somewhere in here. I guess in the floor. Not that I really care. Ooh, I hate those. I do not like those flying dudes. Those dudes are annoying. Where, what is happening right now? Good thing there's enough nearby because, man... We got zombies dropping out of the floor now all of a sudden. Man, it's crazy. All right, guys, this must be the Vindicator room up ahead because there's a lot of them. Oh, my God. Whoa. I got withered there. Whoa. Hello. Goodbye. Man, that was almost like throwing a bowling ball. I hit one and I killed three of them. <laughs> Man. This is crazy. I hate those flying things, though. Those things are freaking annoying. But yeah, that is the power. That is the power of Arc Slash. That's why Arc Slash is awesome. What the heck was that? Oh my goodness. Zombie Pigman. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. What is going on right now? Oh, these flying things are the worst. They are the worst. I think I killed them all. Oh, there's still one up there. Man, this is chaos. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way now. <laughs> Running away so hard that I'm going the wrong way. What are those? Yeah, the vexes. Yeah, that's what they are. Oh, my gosh, there's so many of them. They're spawning in here. But I don't like them. They're nasty. I do want to get all these emeralds. Man. Okay, he's... He is not dead. You do got to watch these Vindicators because they can't hit you very hard. So, keep that in mind. They do hit really hard. But just be careful when you're fighting those. Because if you try to tank them, you're probably going to get yourself in trouble. So just be aware of that. And I tell you what, I've got a lot of emeralds already. My goodness. I, gotta, I had to pause there for a second because something on my desktop had popped up. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, if I keep going like this, this episode is going to be like 40 minutes. So I'll meet you guys back here when I get higher up, like towards the top of this place. Little bit of wither action out here in the very front yard of this place. Or if you want to call it the very front courtyard, that's kind of what it looks like. But... Uh, is becoming pretty crazy. Oh, potion. That hurts. That looked like a witch threw some kind of random potion at me. That really, really hurt me a lot, actually. You know, this is really sad that we probably got close to 15 or 20 minutes of footage, and I'm only on the second level, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is this episode's going to be a lot longer. Ow. Whoa, what is that big guy? That was that was pretty intense. There is zombies and everything all over the place. But hey, if this episode runs 40 minutes, I'm fine with it. Because this is a lot of combat. Well, we got some more chest here. So this one has rotten flesh. 
And this one has steak and chicken. I guess meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> you know, I've got some good advice. And that is, do not try to climb up a ladder where there's 15 or 20 enemies waiting for you to climb up at. Because you will get hurt bad. <laughs> and you will probably die. <laughs> oh my goodness grief, that guy is crazy. It's almost enough to uh, make me use a bandage. My goodness. Yeah, those Vindicators, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, when they have those enchants and stuff, they are dangerous. This is absolute chaos. Look at this. There's witches and zombies and Vindicators. And it's like, how am I supposed to get up here? <laughs> All right, this is the new exercise. Jump and hit. Jump and hit. Jump and hit. Jump and hit. You can do it. Jump and hit. Jump and hit. <laughs> <laughs> here's how you deal with witches guys you just pull your bow out and just start wrecking their faces off man it's great it's like the greatest thing you could ever do oh my gosh that was lag so if they're throwing potion potions at you just stay back and just shoot arrows and you'll be just fine and also like i said that's why i did bring milk just in case something gets really really bad also, if you get to this point, there are vexes that spawn up there, and there are more witches. So just be very careful. This tower is dangerous. Well, this is my first experience with nausea. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Then I've got this guy shooting at me like a freaking maniac. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is really bad stuff. Oh man, we got insomnia. I can't even see a thing. That is literally straight up making me dizzy. Oh my goodness. And when that happens, that's where milk comes in, guys. Okay, guys, I just ran into the craziest mob ever. It's a witch and she's crazy. She's crazy, I tell you. Ooh, silver, that's a wonderful drop. Crazy, where'd she go? I don't even know where she went. Look at all that, that's, that's chaos. Did that witch go over here? I guess she just, uh, I guess she just exploded. Whatever. I don't know. It was crazy. All right. So I finally cleared out all the witches in this room and all the vindicators. It was pretty crazy and full of chaos. There were a couple brewing stands. So I'm going to pick those up because obviously, <laughs> hello, baby zombie. You're definitely dead. But, uh, let me explain something here to you guys really quickly. Well, if I can get out of this web. And basically, if you have shears, you can collect these webs. And then you can actually place three of them down like I have. And that'll actually help against the witches because obviously they'll get stuck in the webs. So that is a really good strategy. And then if you're just standing back here, just start shooting your bow and just kill them off. And then you don't have to worry about getting hit with all those nasty potions. This is bad. This is really bad. So something happened and uh, my inventory was scrambled by one of the witch's potions. I think Paul mentioned that to me today. And uh, yeah, that was a little bit crazy. But anyways, this episode is starting to run really, really long. And uh, I'm probably just going to go ahead and end out the episode here for today because I'm already at 23 minutes. So we will finish this tower in the next episode because I still have to loot everything here. Well, not everything, but I do have to pick up some of the stuff that I have looted. Uh, where is my backpack at? Because I think they blew it up. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, no, it's in this room, actually. But anyways, with that said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stupid banshee, go away. <laughs>